Hey guys, um, so, Legend of Tomorrow, <clears throat> season three, uh, premiere, I know it's late, I know this video is, uh, is late, but, um, what matters is that I, I finally watched the episodes and I can get the review of Alice for you guys, um, to be honest, not that impressed. Um, I'm I'm not impressed. Now it's not it's not as bad. It didn't it didn't um it didn't make me mad or angry the way the Flash uh, season premiere did. It didn't annoy me or offend me by any mean, but um it's still a pretty bad episode in my opinion, or just like average, very average. Um, Legend of Tomorrow episode. Um, you know, at this point, it was kind of, what's the word, um, repetitive. Uh, you know, it's just the same old stuff. Um, rip hunters come in and like, guys, you can't do this. And then being the dumbass that they all are, you know, they did it. And, you know, they got themselves in trouble and they have to fix it. Like, it's the same old stuff over and over again. Um, but what makes the show, or even just, or, you know, just this episode somewhat watchable is the, um, the interaction of the, the group members, you know, Rory is always like, you know, very over the top and very, um, you know, um, cartoonish with his, um, action and, you know, feelings and all that, which he needs to and you know, um, Ray, Ray is you know just like the nerdy guy, he's funny, and you know his chemistry with uh, um, Citizen Steel, Haywood, is actually pretty pretty entertaining to watch. Um, you know Sarah is the badass as always. Um, who else? You know Rip Hunter with that accent, you know British accent, it's kind of classy. He's he's working for a new group now. Can't remember the name, but I mean, who cares? <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, other other than you know the fun interaction between the group members, there's not much to um, to like in this episode. Like every even the character, even the character is just a bunch of dumbass. In this episode, on um, you know the the pro. The problem could have been solved so easily, but they decided to go to to do it their way, and guess what? They messed it up. Um, and you know, at the end of last season, they set up something really, really cool at the very last shot, but you know, five minutes in, it's just like, you know, people just come in and fix, you know, the dinosaur and, you know, the the breaking of time, like, just, just like that, so, it's, it's kind of a bummer, so, as far as, you know, Legend of Tomorrow goes, this is just, like, you know, a very average episode, I mean, the show itself is never, like, it's kind of, um, guilty pleasure for me, like, it's not a great show, it's not even a good show, but, you know, I, I enjoy it for what it is, um, but, you know, I, I, I did not have that, uh, I did not have fun watching this episode. It was kind of boring and kind of, you know, repetitive uh, after a while. So, yeah, that's my uh, review for Legend of Tomorrow season premiere. If you saw the episode, let me know in the comment uh, section how you feel about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, and who's your favorite uh, legend? Thank you, because uh, I, I just can't talk right now. <laughs> Thank you, you guys, for watching. Um, if you like this review, click the like button and subscribe to me if you want to see more um, review for a CW show. And with that being said, I'll see you soon.